Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we'll be doing some uh, fourth axis machining in Fusion 360. We're just going to do some spot drilling and drilling. So let's get started. Okay. So our parts are already set up. So first, we're going to go to drill. We'll select a half inch spot drill go to geometry select the whole face right there go to height select whole bottom and click on two chamfer width and give it about a ten thousand chamfer for our drill next speeds and feeds We're going to pretend this is 304 stainless steel. We'll let this website load real quick. Tool diameter, half inch. Surface feed, 180. We'll pretend this is a carbide spot drill. That was six thousand cutting feet. Okay. So we'll type in our uh, info. Okay, that looks good. We'll hit OK. Here we go. There's a start. Next, we're going to duplicate that spot drill, and we're going to try to spot the next hole. So we turn on tool orientation just by clicking the box. We deselect that face, click on Z axis, click the next hole. As you can see, our uh, X, Y, Z is totally changed. So our Z is now facing the next hole. Then we select that hole, go to heights, double check it's doing a chamfer, okay. Double check our speeds and feeds, and hit okay. Next, we're just gonna repeat the process. For the next hole. So after we duplicate that tool, we hit edit on the third tool path, go deselect that uh, hole, click on Z axis, click on the next hole, and make sure that Z is pointing the way we want it to. Now sometimes you have to play with your X, Y, Z to make sure your X, Y, and Z are all facing the right direction. But just experiment and you'll get it down. See here I had some trouble, but I just did a little experimentation and I got it down. I hit flip, flip Z, there we go. They're all facing the correct way, okay. We select that hole, we check our height, check our speeds and feeds, hit okay. We're moving along to the next hole. Okay, so it's that top one we have to do, okay. So we're just gonna duplicate that tool Okay, hit edit. Okay, that looks good. Hold faces, select that hole. Hit okay. There we go, we'll simulate it real quick. Okay, so that's the start of our four axis part. Next, we're gonna drill those holes through. Select the tool. We'll have to create a tool. Click on ball end mill. Go down to drill. Our hole diameter is about 300 thou, so we'll just pretend we have a 300 thou drill. Try editing the drill length, but screw it up, so we'll just cancel out and restart. Click on ball end mill. 
go down to drill, 300 thou drill, about two inches long. Okay, that looks good. Hit OK to accept it. Now we'll go to geometry. And we will make sure our work coordinate system is facing the correct direction. It is right there, that looks good. Height, we want to put the drill tip through the part. That looks good. Cycle, we'll do a peck drilling cycle, about 50 thou per peck, and about 300 thou, every 300 thou we'll do a retract. Okay, now we'll just have to select that whole face. Okay, there we go. Hit OK, that looks good. Looks like it's drilling through, that's what we like. Just double checking this drill through, that looks good. Next, we will duplicate this drill and move on to the next hole. Kind of like we just did with our spot drills. We go to edit, deselect uh, that drilled hole, move our work coordinate system to this drilled hole. That looks good. Check out our heights, that looks good. Check our cycle, that looks good. Speeds and feeds, we're gonna pretend this is a high speed steel 300 thou drill. And we're machining a 304. So we'll just type in our info. And the website we use is easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Spindle, 573. RPM, plunge two inches per minute, retract about 20. Hit OK. We forgot to select the, um, the hole so it doesn't know where to put this cycle. So once we get out of this, we hit OK there, go to geometry, and select that hole. OK, there we go. That looks good. So two holes done, two more to go. We'll go back to our first one and add some speeds and feeds we forgot. Okay, so just type in our info, no big deal. Plunge two inches a minute, retract 20. Hit okay. So, so far that's looking good, we're almost done. Duplicate that tool, edit that next one, deselect that face, change our work coordinate system to the next hole, that looks good. Now select that face, don't want to forget that again. Check our speeds and feeds, check our cycle, hit OK. That looks good. Next, we will duplicate that tool one more time for our fourth hole. And we will edit it. Go to geometry, deselect that face. Select the new hole. And select the new hole again. Okay, there we go. Check our height, check our cycle, hit OK. There you go, there's all of our tool paths. Select the whole thing, go to simulate. Slow it down a little bit. 
There's our spot drill. There's our spot drill. Spot drill in all the holes. That's what we like. Next, our drill with a retract after 300,000 of PEC. Okay, that's looking good. Two holes done. Third hole. Fourth hole, looking good. All right, there's our simple fourth axis part, Fusion 360. Make sure when you're using your post processor, you're using a four axis post pro processor. Otherwise, it just won't work for you. So make sure to do that. And um, hope you guys found some sort of use out of this video. Um, subscribe for more Fusion 360 uh, daily videos. And uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks.